Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back. And this is Bestie. 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 Bestie with my bestie. The blankets are making me fall asleep. Yes, <laughs> it's too cozy out it here. It is too cozy. Like I'm wearing leggings and a cute little mm-hmm. crop top thing. Anyways. Yeah. Hello everybody. Welcome back Hello. to our podcast. Mm-hmm. I'm Vanessa. And I'm Marley. And this is Best Tea with, with My bestie. bestie. So today we're going to talk about rolls. Rolls in the household. Bread rolls from like Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> um, <okay. laughs> Hawaiian rolls. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are so You know, good. you're supposed to bake those. Yes. I just always ate them like that. Yeah, same. I still do to this day. Yeah, I didn't know you're supposed to. I mean, I'm going to have to try it because... That sounds it, it, like it would like be even soft, and more just like warm deliciousness. And, ugh, I'm so hungry. I know. We're gonna go eat a whole like, pack of Hawaiian rolls out. <laughs> yeah, that sounds but good. yeah. So our episode is about roles, gender mm-hmm. roles, yep. household roles, the roles between you and your partner. Yep, your relationship. Yeah. Do you guys have roles? So. Andy's more, I feel he likes for, you know, the woman to do the majority. I'm not like that, especially because I feel everything should be equal. Mm -hmm. It should be fair. You know, if I'm cleaning, you should, like, clean or offer, like, hey, can I help you? Like, things like that. Mm -hmm. Um, Cooking. You know, maybe if someone cooks, the other one cleans up, yeah. washes dishes. It's a teamwork. Yes. Um, that's my take on it, really. I just like for things to be equal and fair. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of different for us. I am a stay-at-home mom, mm-hmm. and Eric is the breadwinner. He's the one that works. He's the one that pays for, like, the bills. He takes care of everything financially versus me. I take care of things internally like right. the house i you know keep up with like the kids i'm watching the kids i'm with them all day every day so i'm with the kids i'm making sure like the house is clean the house mm-hmm. is like nice and put together yeah um so like that's kind of like the roles that we've established it is hard because i would love to have you know like that financial freedom i'm not saying that like i don't have it right but you know as a stay-at-home mom you kind of have to work with what you got Mm-hmm. And luckily, you know, I do get, you know, I work online. So that has given me like the financial freedom that I have. Right. But I think role wise, we've established that like Eric takes care of the bigger picture, the financial stuff. Mm-hmm. And I take care of the kids, the household, the cooking, the cleaning and all of that, which I don't mind. Right. But I do tell them like it would be it, it is nice when we do work as a team as well. Yes, you know? for sure. I my goal in the in like that I'm working on is I would love for us to be at a place where we're both financially, you know, like freaking millionaires yeah. and we don't have to worry about like even working or even doing anything, mm-hmm. you know? So like, that's for my sure. goal of, of who doesn't want that. Honestly. Yeah. But, um, yeah, but sometimes I miss working. Like as I say, yeah. I'm a mom, like I miss working because that was like my social time. Right. That was my time to just get out, be around new people, be productive outside of just being at home. Right. So sometimes it could get tricky Mm -hmm. because I am a stay at home mom and he does work. Luckily, he works from home, too. So it's not like he's ever fully gone. And like we're very blessed to be in that position. But yeah, role wise, it's um, we have like our system. Like I wake up, I get the kids. He'll instantly go to his office and start working, editing, you know, figuring out like videos to put up. And then he'll come down and help me throughout the day whenever I need it. Um, but majority of the time, it's like that's like our our role, really. Yeah. And it works for us. Um, but like I said, sometimes I do wish I like had a job so I can have that me time, right. that social time. Exactly. But yeah, like kind of like what you said, teamwork, mm-hmm. um, just help out. Yeah. It is more common for women to take care of, like, the household, to take care of, like, the Definitely. cooking and the cleaning. But we appreciate when you take on loads for us as well. Yeah. Because it's a lot of stuff that we do. Yeah, especially when it's a situation where you're both working, mm-hmm. then you should both be taking care of your home. Yes. You know? Yes, 100%. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. 
that's a good one. Yeah. You feel? Yeah. Has there been anything where like you've told him like, okay, I need you to do this? Like, have you given him chores? So, yes, mm -hmm. I will say at least dishes, mm. dishes, you know, but he doesn't always do them. But that would be my main thing. While or like there will be it's not that he never helps me, but for the majority, I do do most of it mm -hmm. but we do have our days where we'll do cleaning days we'll clean the whole house you know and he'll take on the living room yeah. area while I'm handling you know the rest like the kitchen and stuff like that the bathrooms and things like that he does his own clothes he washes okay. his own clothes so that's nice I take care of my clothes he takes care of his clothes mm -hmm. but primarily I'll do the cleaning yeah and cooking Cause he yes. doesn't cook. He'll, I mean, there's moment like there's times where he'll make, you know, a steak or something on the grill. Well, the, he yeah. likes grilling, mm -hmm. but we don't grill do it as often all the time. Yeah. yeah. You know? So, um, yeah. But like I'll make him lunches, you know, for work and mm -hmm. stuff. And I mean, I don't mind it though. Yeah. But it's more about the, I know I heard that. <laughs> it's more about, I guess the cleaning that makes a big deal. Like that's a big deal for me. Like that yeah. makes a difference. Yeah. Cause I'm definitely. working too. And then to come home and then to, you know Especially what I mean? if like they've been home and then you come home and it's like, you kind of know they probably didn't clean up, but you're just like, let me just see if they did. Yeah. Like I know that happens to me a lot. Yeah. Same. So, I'm sure that's everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's also like, really you can't just wash the dishes while I'm gone. Yeah. You can't, exactly. Like I would love to come home to not wanting to do the dishes as well. Right. Exactly. Um, I used to do his laundry. Same. I used to do all the laundry. So like mm -hmm. my laundry, the kids, his. I used to color coordinate his closet, hang everything up and like color, you know, oh, organization. Oh, he likes that? I like it. Oh, you like it. So that. Okay. I started doing that for him. So now it's like his thing. Uh-huh. But it was just so much that I was taking on. Like I have the kids. It's and a then lot. I, so when it comes to my laundry, I just throw it in my closet. I'm like, I don't care if it's my clothes. Like I'll throw them in the closet. Mm -hmm. I'll go through whatever I need to go through. But it's gotten to the point where he now does his own laundry, mm -hmm. which is like, oh, thank God. Like, I know. I know. I used to do his, too, when yes. we first moved in together and stuff. And I ended up just saying, you know what? I think this is for you. Mm -hmm. You know, I the have. The least you could do. You know, yeah, I have my stuff. You know, that could be your thing. And yeah. then that's dishes. He'll take out the trash, mm -hmm. you know, if I ask him to. And yeah. Eric's thing is the trash. Like, okay. he's very on top of the trash. He'll go throughout the entire house. Mm -hmm. He's constantly just taking out the trash. Um, he does help me throughout the day. Like, if he's, he'll do the dishes. Um, he'll help me with, like, the living room, our bedroom, vacuuming. Yeah. Sometimes he'll remind me, like, hey, like, later on, do you think you could do this? And I'm like, oh, my God, yes. Like, because mm -hmm. I feel like the entire day my mind is wired with right. all the things I need to get done that mm -hmm. I forget half the stuff that I need to do. Yeah. Because I'm like prioritizing other things before mm -hmm. it. So there are definitely roles that we take on, but I think if you and your partner sit down again, communicate, or at least you can express to your partner, like what you need help on, maybe something that they could do, take a load off of what you already do for yourself and the right. family and at home. Um, like, you know, you guys can make living together easier. Yes. Because if not, then you're cranky, you're tired. Cranky, you feel a certain way towards them. You get annoyed with them more easily. Yes. It's kind of like a low-key resentment. Like, yes. uh, you don't help me. Yeah. I do everything. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just if you need help, ask for it. If you need a break, ask for it. And be and open to helping when you're asked for help. Yes. Like, don't fight back. Just do it. Yeah, you know? and don't make them feel bad for, you know, you asking either. Yeah. And I think you know? also check in with your partner. Mm -hmm. Like, I have to remind myself, like, even though we're always in our own world. Yeah. And, like, he takes care of things financially and, like, the bigger picture stuff. Like, he yeah. always checks in with me, like, hey, how are you doing today? Like, do you need a break? And I'll ask him, like, is there anything stressing you out? Like... Yeah. Are you okay mentally and emotionally? Like that's very important because even though we have our own roles and we take on that role and we don't want to bother each other about that mm -hmm. role, yeah, I think it's safe and very healthy to just check in with each other to make sure that like, even though you have your responsibilities, like is there anything you need help with? Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. 
do you need help with something? Do you just need to release something? Like, are you stressed out? Like, what's bothering you? Mm -hmm. Because I know he doesn't like to, like, um, really talk about a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I need to, like, go to him and make sure, like, he's okay. Yeah. And vice versa. Like, I like to make sure I have, I like to think I have everything together. And it's not until he comes downstairs where I'm like, oh, my God, I need a break. Like, please Mm -hmm. (laughs) watch the kids for a little bit. I need a nap. I need to recharge. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, I get that. Makes Mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's different for everybody. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. And you can have a completely different mindset, Um, you know, and that's fine. Everyone has their preferences again. And it's okay. Yeah, do what you got to do. Make sure it's yep. healthy. Mm-hmm. Communicate. Communicate. And that's that. Yeah. Love that. Popsicle. Popsicle time. Popsicle time. Mm. All right. Your turn? My turn? Your turn. My turn? It's your turn. Okay. It's your turn. <laughs> okay. Get a popsicle stick. Let's see. Okay. How funny. Because we're talking about our partners. Mm. So... Oh, okay, I thought this was something was else. Amazing. How do you tell your partner they can improve sexually without hurting their feelings or egos? It's a, you know what? That's a tough situation in general. Yeah. Because I think regardless of how you approach it, your partner is going to feel a certain way and start to overthink and think that like, what I'm doing is wrong. I'm not satisfying them. In right. the end, you're going to have to like, you know... Right. Come to your, not like senses, but like, I think accept that like, okay, this is obviously a problem that they're addressing me with. Because mm-hmm. um, it's easy for me to feel attacked. It's easy for me to be like, nothing right. I do is right. Mm-hmm. So we've definitely had those conversations. But I think for me, it was like, for instance, after pregnancy, my hygiene was horrible. Mm-hmm. Like my body did a whole like 180. Mm-hmm. Um, I was like sweating a lot. My odor was just completely off. Like it was just the pregnancy hormones. Right. And I remember like he didn't want to like bring it up, but it was getting to the point where it was like, I, I need to bring this up. Right. And you know, I'm happy he did. Mm-hmm. Did it suck hearing that? Yes, because yeah. I felt like I couldn't control it in the moment. Yeah. But at least I knew like, okay, before we have sex, these are things that I could do. To, to like help I, out a bit. To help out a bit. So like mm-hmm. definitely, you know, Makes maybe sense. do a whole body check real quick. Like right. how is this? How is this? How is this? Okay, we're good. Uh-huh. And yeah, but like I think regardless of how you approach it, just be mindful of like what your partner might feel. Yeah. I mean, you know your partner, you know, better than anyone else. So make sure you approach it in a way where you don't hurt their feelings. Yeah. You know, you can start off. I know a way to, I've heard this, to give bad news. You start with good, give the bad, and then end with good. Mm. You know, so a way you could go about it is, oh, I love when you do this, this, and this. Oh, but maybe, you know, for this, Mm -hmm. maybe we could do this instead or whatever. But then you can end with, but overall, Mm -hmm. like, you know, this, this, and this. Unless it's entirely just you're not sexually compatible, mm-hmm. you need to understand the difference between that two. Because yeah. if you're not sexually compatible and it's not working for you, then yeah. you have to, there's a deal breaker, like in some cases. So you have to decide whether it is a deal breaker or not a deal breaker. Yeah. You know? Or maybe like you guys can start using something. Like if your partner isn't satisfied, but right. you feel like maybe you're doing what you can be doing, like mm-hmm. there's toys you can start using. Yes. There's, I don't know, put some music on or mm-hmm. four plays a Change huge thing. Change the ambiance in the room. Add yes. some candles. Do something different. Spice things up. Yeah. Google a couple of items or like different things you can try, mm-hmm. you know, to set the mood. Or um, like if you aren't comfortable, like if you're, well, how do I want to word this? If you aren't sure how to do something, mm-hmm. I mean, it doesn't, I don't think it hurts to like, tell me what you want. Yeah, tell me what you want, mm-hmm. how you like it. Like, as doing it. Like, yeah. have you ever done that? Yeah. I'll, yeah, like, let me know exactly what it is that you want me to do. Yeah. And then you can, like, go from there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or, I, that's the thing. It's just communication. Communication. Honestly. It all ties like, into every episode is, like, communicate with yeah, your partner. Communication is key. Like, yes. literally. Yeah. You should feel comfortable to communicate with your partner, whether it's a very, very tough subject the yeah. fact that you're even sitting down 
and talking with them says that one, you respect them a lot, you love them a lot. It's just there's certain things that you need. Right. That you fine. know can happen. Yes. You just need your partner to verbally hear it. Like we're not mind readers. Right. Exactly. So we need to verbally hear it. Mm-hmm. We might be hurt. Because I know after that, I was like, I was a little hurt. Yeah. I was like, I can't control it. Like, then I started to think like, oh, my God, I just smell. He uh-huh. doesn't want to have sex with me. But it's like, he does. It's just, yeah, he, it's just it's one thing. Mm-hmm. Hey, let's check in with ourselves before we have sex. And I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It's regulated now. Yeah. But like after pregnancy, you know, it was a mess. Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. But yeah. Yep. It cannot get improved if it's not brought up and yes. communicated about. For sure. Yeah. But yeah, that was um that was that. So communication is key. Yeah. Talk with your partner whether I think it's just also how you approach it. Yeah. Don't attack, don't come off rude. Make yeah. sure you're in the right mental space mm-hmm. to sit down, have a mature conversation with your partner about what it is that you need or want to fix. Yeah. I'm sure it'll go. Yeah. Well. It'll go well. Yeah. Sensitive, um empathetic, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Yeah. And thank you guys again for watching, for tuning in. If for following us, um, mm-hmm. please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Share. Share. Mm-hmm. And tag us. We'll, you know, see you guys on Instagram, TikTok at TWBestie. Yes. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.